لتحقيق حدثي ك لتحقيق حدثي ك now before we explain this right in meaning we need to understand it individually what do you notice i've written i've written the vowels on but what do you notice about these two words it is an idafa tone لتحقيقي هدفك the تحقيقي هدفي is an idafa tone but why why let's take the first word تحقيق تح تحقيق قن تحقيق means accomplishing that's there right accomplishing right that's تحقيق what is this word هدف هدف if you watch football in Arabic you'll know what هدف means they say it when somebody puts the ball in the net so what does it mean oh a goal Hadafun means goal. Ah, accomplishing your goal. Right. right. Now we've usually spoken about an idafa in the context of, for example, kitabu waladin. Kitabu waladin. Why? And we've said that. Remember the kitabun bit. That's called uh, the mudafun. Mudafun, okay, annexed, attached, that's what Mudafun means, that's that bit, and the Mudafun ilayhi, Mudafun ilayhi means attached to, okay, so the thing that's been attached is Kitabu. The thing it's been attached to is waladin, kitabu waladin, right? And that meaning, we said the most common use of an idafa is to convey which meaning? Closeness, they're connected. Connected, but also we said something else. Possess. Possession. Possession possesses. Didn't we? Yeah. Okay, so kitabu is a book. Yeah. Waladin is a boy. Yeah. Kitabu waladin okay. becomes a boy's book to denote possession and it's one of the most common ways in Arabic to convey that meaning of possession using a nidafa but we also said it doesn't have to be possession it can also be just two nouns closely related okay so if we apply the rules of the nidafa okay we elongate this and we said that's our mudafun and that's our mudafun ilayhi what did we say Shabazz? are the two rules relating to the mudafun with regards to the endings it can, be, uh, it can be any it can be in any state good right so it can be a dhamma a fatha or a kasra and it's only one vowel good so it's never going to be Tahqiqun and hadafun, is it? You, you're never going to say that. Okay? So you're going to say tahqiqu. And what state is tahqiqu in? Marfu'un, good. It's going to be in its default state, tahqiqu, right? Now, so those are the two rules. One, that it can be tahqiqu, tahqiqa, and tahqiqi. And the second is that it can only take one vowel. Okay, so you're never going to have a tanween on it, you're never going to have two. So, that's the two rules regarding the mudafun. What about the mudafun ilay? That takes, uh, has that to be, is it fatah? I was going to say kasra. Yes! Oh, right. Right. It has to be a kasra. So, hadafin. Okay, it has to be majroorun. And what's the other rule?
What about if, right, okay, so what does it mean? What does tahqiqu hadafin mean? Accomplishing a goal. Accomplishing a goal. That's what tahqiqu hadafin mean. Just like kitabu waladin. Kitabu waladin is a slightly easier example to understand because it's a more of a normal meaning. In the sense that Kitabu Waladin means a boy's book. But what if you want to say the boy's book? What does it become? Good. Kitabu Al Walad. D becomes Kitabu Al Waladi. So what's the second rule regarding the Mudafun Ilayhi? One. Right, it's, got, it's to do with the Al, isn't it? Can you put Al on the Mudafun? Yeah. No. The Al goes on the Mudafun Ilayhi. The Al goes on the Mudafun Ilayhi. Right? That's how you convey the meaning of, for example, the boy's book. Kitabul. Waladi Kitabul Waladi The boy's book as opposed to Kitabu Waladin Four rules two for the mudafun two for the mudafun alay you can't add the al to the first one If you ever see this right if you ever see this Al Kitabu then Al Walad. Don't assume automatically that's an idafa. Because it's not. It cannot be. Because that's got an al on it. That's just what does that mean, Anamal Ha? What does it mean? Al Kitabu Al Walad. The book. The book? The boy. The boy, that's it. It can't mean anything other than that. So, going back to our example. Tahqiqu hadafin. What does tahqiqu hadafin mean? Accomplish a goal. Accomplishing a goal. Good. Now we said that the mudafun can be in all three states. In here, it's li tahqiqi. Li tahqiqi. Why is it li tahqiqi? Because of a li. Li is a harfu jarin. It means four. four or two. Okay, four or two. Remember the sentence. Ibhath an tariqatin. Look for a way. Litahqiki to accomplish. Okay, to accomplish. That's what's majrurun. You understand, Shabazz? Right. Then we've got this cat. Now, what what does a cat represent? Yours. Yours. What type of word is it? Well, a harf. It's a pronoun. The minimum tessellan. Your. Why? So we can't have now two kasra there, can we? No. And one of well, the reason why you can't is because when you attach a pronoun to a noun, it goes from being indefinite to definite. Yeah. You, you follow that? Yeah. If I say, Hada qalamuka, qalamuka, we know whose pen it is. Yeah. Otherwise, I just say, Hada qalamun. Yeah. This is a pen, any pen. Hada qalamuka becomes your pen. So, we move from Hada to hadafi ka your goal to accomplish your goal and the only other minor point is one brother would always mention in our lesson in uh, Blackburn is that this is an idafa too on its own yes hadafi ka is also an idafa
because you can have you can have multiple idafas together so your mudafun ilayhi here that can be a mudafun to another mudafun ilayhi right so hadafika that becomes your mudafun ilayhi and that becomes your mudafun and it's also mudafun ilayhi to tahqiqi which is a mudafun that might seem complicated but really all you're doing is you're saying okay hadafi your mudafun ilayhi to tahqiqi but because now we have a pronoun attached to you why right? it's you're doing the same thing again but that's just a, a point to note. You just need to understand that to mean in order to accomplish your goal. Is that clear? Why? 